Okay, let's bring this jerk his pen. Warden Mackenzie, at your service, sir. I'm glad to have been of service, Mr. Holmes. Can you tell me where I might find the locker room? In the corridor that leads to the director's office. That's where the prisoner's civilian stuff is held. But seeing the length of their sentences, they've little chance of ever getting it back. Can you open the locker room for us? We would like to inspect Shieldman's personal items. No, Mr. Holmes. I'm not responsible for that. You will find the keys in the secretary's office. See you later, Mr. Holmes. Okay, let's get to the to the girl. Miss, may we borrow the keys to the locker room? You will need authorization from the director to open that door. If you wait a moment, then I will inform him. We will wait, thank you. Anything new, Mr. Holmes? Is your investigation advancing? Mr. Holmes, have you been able to get what you wanted from our lodger? Not yet. We must first cast light upon a crucial point, and for that we require your help again. What can I do? We need to examine Shieldman's civilian clothing. Very well, but be extremely careful. What do you mean? In that madman's compartment, you will find a strange little coded case which refused point blank to open when he was incarcerated. We did try to force it, but without success. Didn't you ask the experts? Of course we did. Experts from Scotland Yard came to examine it, where they came to the conclusion that it was better that the case remain shut than tamper with it too much. I see. They were afraid that some poison or other might escape if it was opened. Exactly. Bear in mind that this man is an evil genius, a master poisoner, and that his poisons are never ordinary. Here's the key to the locker room. I give you the authorization to open it. Good. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Miss Patterson, the guards are still waiting for you to put up the duty list. Do it as soon as possible. Without it, the changing of the guard cannot take place. Or had you forgotten? Dry your tears, miss. I'm certain that your father didn't mean to hurt you. Mr. Watson, I can't put up the duty list. And when he finds out, he'll be furious. Why can't you? It's in my locker, in the cloakroom, and I've lost the key. Your aunt. Say no more, Holmes. As you keep repeating, time is against us. Let's go and look at the things in the rat killer's locker. Okay, so we got the key. The locker room. This is where the prisoner's things are kept. Oh, okay. Here is the locker of our friend, Hans, the mad scientist. What a jumble! A paper knife. Blotting paper. This solid box must hold a precious object. Let us see. Ah, a riddle again. 
That's not right. Start again. Okay. Poem in Hans's handwriting. Blotting paper. No. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here. Okay. Blotting paper. Huh. There is something interesting here. This cannot be a simple co Okay, calcium brome Sarah uh, H Calcium. Okay. Perfect. What is written on that note, Holmes? Later, Watson, later. <laughs> we can give Hans. His pen. Uh, still, this is not a very good idea. <laughs> what a bunch of incompetence! Oh, if I was as unprofessional as that, there would be murderers running all over the town. What's the matter? Are you a patient of Dr. Watson? Very amusing. I was going on about the dry cleaners in Westgate Street. I've just delivered my ceremonial uniform in the middle of my duty, when I've told them a thousand times not to bring it until after six in the evening. A ceremonial uniform? You've been promoted? No, and that's not about to happen. No, I've been invited to a wedding. I, I mean, I hope to be... I'm in trouble. If the director sees that I've left my post, I'll be sacked without pay. Give it to me, Warden Brighton. I'll take care of it for you. Really? Thanks a lot. Here's the key to the cloakroom and that of my locker. I'm really grateful, Mr. Holmes. What have you got in mind, Holmes? You're not doing this out of kindness, are you? No, out of curiosity. We will be able to access the cloakroom with these keys. Okay, here is the cloakroom. I need something. Okay. Bicarbonate of soda. Brighton must have an upset stomach, caused by stress without a doubt. Bicarbonate of soda. The name on the key is Jenny Patterson. That is interesting. Okay.
Okay, anyway, let's firstly give a pen to this jerk. Sorry, Mr. Holmes, you can't go into the basement for the moment. For what reason? The door has locked itself automatically. You must enter a new security code. Do it, then. Miss Patterson hasn't put up the guard duty list yet. Without that information, we don't know who's authorized to take note of the new code. So Mackenzie is locked in the high security zone. Yes, but don't worry about him. He's trained for this sort of dysfunction. Why not ask the director to take note of the code and open the door? He isn't allowed to, and I doubt that he would run the risk of going against the orders of the administration center. Anyway, the bars in the high security section are joined to the alarm system, which is in that room. We only need to sound it to unblock, but you see, we can't do that now. We'll try to find the duty list, Warden James. Okay. Okay, I can speak with him. I've done with the keys. <laughs> but what could I have done with the keys? <laughs> and why I can't give you this one? But what could I? Strange. Okay. Let us examine Miss Patterson's locker. The lock on this box is rather sophisticated. Incredible! Is Jenny hiding something? Hmm. Riddles again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think I understand. This one will connect here. I don't get it. Ok. 
skin. It's really very clever. Little Jenny is astonishing. Okay. A locket, sealing the relation between Jenny and Warden Brighton. Decidedly, this boy is not a great poet. Here is the famous guard duty list. Interesting. A letter from Brighton to Jenny. Barely literate. Apparently, Jenny is carrying Brighton's child, and it seems that Jenny's father, the director, is unaware of this. We have found the guard duty cards, miss. If you like, I can go and discreetly give them to the guards. Oh, thank you. You've got me out of a lot of trouble, Mr. Holmes. We have found the guard duty card. Oh, thank you. We have found Chief Warden James's duty list. Good. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Let's see. O'Sullivan, it's you who takes over from Mackenzie. Take note of the code, please, and unblock the door. At once, Chief. Ah, Mr. Holmes, could I ask you for a favour? Please do. I think I can say, on behalf of all the staff, that we would be honoured if you would care to write something in our guest book. With pleasure, O'Sullivan. You seem worn out, O'Sullivan. A good night's sleep would do you good. A good night's sleep would do me good. You're right, Mr. Holmes. Is something worrying you? As you know, Westgate Prison will soon be demolished, and I'm spending most of my nights studying for my exam to join the police. You understand, I have to think about my future, so sleep isn't a priority at the moment. Scotland Yard is always looking for young, competent and motivated men. Would a letter of recommendation from me allow you to get some sleep? What? A letter from Mr. Sherlock Holmes? Recommending me for Scotland Yard? Are you quite serious? Completely serious, my young friend. May I use this writing paper? The one on your desk? A thousand thanks, Mr. Holmes. A thousand thanks! It is addressed to Inspector Baines, a good friend of mine. There's no need to remind you that it must be opened only by the person to whom it is addressed. Yes, of course. I'll give it to him personally. Thank you again, Mr. Holmes. At your service, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Holmes is such a jerk. Okay.
Zell. You have what you wanted, your precious pen. You seem annoyed, Mr. Holmes. I would even go so far as to say terribly worried. Why should you care, Mr. Shieldman? Let's talk about that poison. I am not talking about you in the grip of natural emotions found in ordinary people who are confronted by the inexplicable. But as for Mr. Holmes, you are embarrassed, aren't you? Are you hiding something? That is enough, Shieldman. You have kept your word. Therefore, I will keep mine. At this moment, the poison which so interests you isn't finished yet. Its maker is encountering great difficulties in attaining the desired results. What is the end result? Now, Mr. Holmes, the end result of any science, as Descartes once said, to become the master and owner of nature. Here we are talking about human nature, of course, and the creator's problem isn't so much the mixture as the durability of his creation. What do you mean? You see, this poison was made using rare but very volatile short-living compounds, which means that it is only possible to produce small quantities, which most importantly do not keep for a long time. Conceiving such a product in a laboratory especially built for the purpose could be achieved by any good chemist. But recopying this alchemy on another scale and keeping it ready at any moment, observing the particular conservation and storing conditions that a substance of this type requires, well, that would need a genius. <laughs> I doubt if the creator of this mixture would be capable. And you would be, of course. Of course. Luckily, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Luck is cyclical. It always comes around again, sooner or later. As far as I am concerned, I have the feeling that the cycle is going to be very short. Holmes, it sounds to me as though this shieldman is implying that an escape attempt will be made. Yes, we must go and warn the director. Okay, I will stop. I will stop here. Thanks for watching.